It's just, I've never seen this. This is unbelievable. <laughs> the butterfly in that cage is no ordinary insect. A jellyfish gene was inserted into its DNA to make its eyes glow in the dark. The eyes, they are just like fireflies. But we're really walking in on the middle of the story, so let's go back to the beginning. And that starts not with eyes, but with eye spots. A butterfly's eye spots aren't just pretty decoration. They can be a matter of life and death for a butterfly. They can fool predators into attacking the wing instead of vital organs. And they can help a young butterfly find a mate. But it's not clear what the evolutionary origins of these eye spots are. And that's just what interests Antonia Montero, actually pronounced. Antonia Montero? Montero is an evolutionary biologist at Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut. And this is the insectarium where she works. Using these butterflies, Montero is testing the hypothesis that eye spots began as misplaced limbs. The basic idea is that the gene network that makes legs somehow got turned on in the wing and produced an eye spot. It sounds a little weird, but it turns out that when legs just start to develop... It just looks just like a bullseye structure, just like an eye spot. And it's only later in development that the tissue starts growing outwards and telescopes out of the plane. Testing this hypothesis requires understanding the exact genes that make the eye spots and how they work together to do it. Answering that starts in the lab with Montero's postdoc, Jeff Oliver, and a caterpillar. I'm going to dissect out the wings. All right, wait a second. Caterpillars have wings? Yes. Yes. That's right. They're just underneath the skin of the caterpillar. And uh, the genes that are responsible for various patterns, such as stripes and eye spots, are getting turned on at these early stages while they're still caterpillars. Oliver dissects the caterpillar wing and stains it with antibodies that basically look for genes that are also used to make legs. And it'll light up because it's got a certain fluorescent marker attached to it. And if that leg gene lights up, then they know that it's at least expressed in the eye spot. Understanding its exact function comes next. Next step is to take the gene they found in the stain and insert a copy of it into butterfly eggs. So we produce more of the gene and we produce less of the gene and then we see what the effect is. This is where the glow-in-the-dark part comes in. Montero also inserts a glow-in-the-dark marker into the eggs. If the eye of the butterfly glows, they know the extra eye spot gene was successfully inserted. So we then put them like that under the microscope. And look for the glowing eyes. And here's our bright-eyed friend from earlier. Montero has already made transgenic butterflies. She inserted an extra copy of the leg gene distalis, and she found that the butterfly wings did in fact change. If we turn on more of this gene at particular stages in development, we get larger eye spots and also additional eye spots on the wing. And if we turn it off and shut it down, we have smaller eye spots appearing on the wing. So now we know that distillus is actually doing something. Before we knew it was expressed in the eye spots, but we couldn't really say whether it was actually functional. Montero has about a dozen more genes to test. If she finds that the gene network is exactly the same for eye spots as it is for legs, that's pretty good evidence that with a little switch, the genes that make limbs can make eye spots, which makes you wonder, what else can they do? I'm Flora Lichtman for Science Friday.